Did you know five seconds in internet time is equivalent to 2.5 hours in real time? Hi, I'm Stephanie from Thrive Themes, and that previous statement was 100% scientifically incorrect. But to a new visitor, a slow loading website can make it seem that way. In this website review, we'll take a look at how damaging a slow loading website can be. Now, we're having a look at IME Natural Perfumes today, and that is an Australian perfume company. And if you have a look at the site, it's beautifully designed. They've got these really nice illustrations that perfectly encompass the product. Unfortunately, in order to see these designs, you need to wait up to 70 seconds for the website to load. Now, especially because of this type of product, you can see down the bottom here, they've been featured in all these different magazines. If you see this product and you're interested, and you go to their website, you're not gonna sit there for 70 seconds to check out this new product. You're going to navigate somewhere else and just assume that the site was broken. And like that, it'll be out of your mind and you'll never check again. Now, slow loading can be incredibly damaging, particularly for a site like this. If you have a look at the layout, you'll come to the homepage and see these perfumes, which look great. Decide to navigate to the shop. Now we've pre-opened these pages, otherwise this video would take too long. So I'll navigate to the other tab where I'd opened the shop page previously. And you see that you've got the perfumes again. So you click to select whatever perfume you decide to buy and you're navigated to the actual checkout. And through each of these stages, you have to wait 70 seconds for each page to load. That's three and a half minutes just to get to the stage where you can purchase this product. Three and a half minutes just to get to the add to the cart button is unacceptable. They would be losing a lot of visitors along the way. So now that we've established how much the slow load may be affecting this website, how do they fix it? Well, when we were looking through the speed tests, uh, we identified that one of the main problems was the image optimization. The images on this website, you can see there's quite a lot, especially in this checkout page. So these images are much larger than they're actually going to appear on the website. Now, a good indication to figure out how big you need to make your images is get one in there, right click and inspect the element. And you'll see here, the maximum you need to have it is 540 pixels squared. Now we downloaded the images here and this one in particular is 2,448 pixels by 2,448 pixels. That is incredibly large, especially considering the max it's going to be displayed at is 600 pixels. So we decided to do some optimization to this image to show you the differences in size versus the differences in quality. Now this one is the original picture, which was 2,448 pixels squared and 1,300 kilobytes. We reduced the size to 540 pixels squared, which brought it down to 203 kilobytes. Now there's one extra step that you can take to make your images even smaller, and that's run them through an image optimization program. This compresses the image without affecting any of the quality. If you have a Thrive Themes theme, there is an inbuilt image optimizer in there. You just need to turn it on. And I'll link to exactly how you do that below this video. And if you don't happen to have a Thrive Themes theme installed on your WordPress site, you can use kraken.io, which is a web-based image optimization program, and it's free. I'll also link to that below this video. So this is the same size image that's been optimized through Kraken and it's brought it down to 46 kilobytes. As you can see, it looks exactly the same, but we've managed to bring that picture down from 1,300 kilobytes to just 46 kilobytes. As you can imagine, if she goes through and does this to all the pictures on her website, it will really help with the whole speed issue. So now that we've got the whole speed issue out of the way, let's take a look at some of the other little things that she can do to improve her website. Now, obviously you can see there's a slider, which we don't recommend. It's actually really difficult to navigate in between the slides as well. So I would recommend just cutting that entire slider section out and having these, which is the most striking part of the website, right up the top. 
And there are a couple of points in here that are quite important. So the 100% natural, cruelty-free, toxin-free and vegan-friendly. And also, as you can see how difficult this is to navigate, the shipping worldwide is also probably quite important to have right up the top, just so any international visitors that visit the site can tell instantly that they'll be able to get this product. So I would suggest just having a list right up the top here that says all of these points and then going straight into these really striking pictures that they have of their products. We've noticed quite a disconnect between the homepage and the shop. Now, because they only have 10 products, they're all pictured in the homepage and then you go to the shop and they're all just pictured again, but in a less appealing way. And then once you click onto whichever perfume you want, you're taken to the checkout, which again is using the least appealing product pictures that they have. Ideally, I would suggest merging the homepage with the shop page, taking out the slider and just picture, using these pictures for the product pictures. Just because they're so much nicer, they capture the essence of the product and you can take out an entire step in the purchase process. So they just come to your site, click on whatever perfume they want and they're taken straight to the checkout. I hope you found this website review helpful and got some tips on how to improve your own website. If you have any comments, please leave them below the video.